My name is Peter Shears and my job title is Professor of Consumer Law and Policy within the Plymouth Law School. But for the purposes of this case study, I'm the module leader of a huge module called Business Law, which the Law School offer to a wide variety of first year business study students uh, from the schools of management and hospitality. Yes, um, the Business Law module draws an enormous number of students. As a module leader, this brings me with an acute problem, which is to say, how do you assess such a large number of students? And I've used this software package as a tool in assessment of a large number of students at first year level. The way that I've approached that assessment problem is by using software question mark perception and at the shallow end of it, uh, which is by way of setting multiple choice questions um, and incorporating feedback amongst those questions. Um, the best thing for me is that I don't have to mark 250 examinations. Well, faced with this assessment problem with a large group, a group of 250 students or so, um, I originally used to use an OCR machine uh, the kind of punch card reader, if you like. Um, and it was clumsy. Um, the machine that I was allowed to use didn't belong in our faculty. Um, my faculty at that time weren't prepared to buy one that would belong to the faculty. And anyway, it broke. So I had to think of something else. Now, it's a tricky thing, assessing a large class um, on a course which varies in its content. What I mean by that is that there really isn't any such thing as business law as a subject area. It's not like criminal law or family law or contract law. It's a collection of what you want it to be. And so what I've done is to ask my colleagues who are specialists in individual areas of law, like employment law or company law, to come and do their special topics, their best lectures if you like, um, and incorporate that into the end of year assessment examination using the software. And the way that's done is that these lecturers, these uh, subject area specialists, will set questions at the end of each of their lectures, give them to me, clearly not giving them to the students at that stage, and from that I will build a database. Now that does two things. It enables me to assess the whole syllabus, as it were, which might vary year on year, and it also encourages students to show up to class, because if they come to the lectures, they will have seen the material. What I say is we have a set text, the lectures are based on the text, and the assessment is based on the lectures. So year on year, what I do is to take the last year's exam, as it were, the basic database of questions, and invite my subject area specialist colleagues to go over the questions that they set last year from their lectures, and if they've changed their lectures, or if the law has changed in their specialist areas, give them the opportunity to update it. So the basic database is updated every year in line with the current law and, and the best questions that they can set. I found that the software gives me the benefit of being able to examine in some detail what in other circumstances might be a very complicated assessment model where, where you're covering a whole year's lectures on a variety of different topics. This package has given me the opportunity to examine in some detail and test the student's knowledge 